EID card is the official proof of identity in Belgium. The card contains a chip which can be read by a card reader. It can be used for identification, authentication and signing. The EID is used by several official online applications such as Tax and Web or the online administrative records of the National Registry. To explore the contents of the ID card, you can use the EID Viewer application. You can see that there are several parts here. First is the identification part, which contains all the demographic information about the owner of the card. The second tab contains some information about the validity of the card, as well as the possibility to verify or change the PIN code. Finally, you have access to the certificates which are the main tools for authentication and signature. We can use them, for instance, to connect to the National Registry website using our PIN code. Let's sum up what we have. Inside the chip of the ID card, we have the demographic data and the photo, which can be read directly. We also have two certificates for signature and authentication, as well as their corresponding private keys. All of these can be used with a card reader. So how can we use this for authentication? The goal of authentication is to check that the person who is in possession of the card also has the PIN code which, in general, is considered a sufficient proof that it is the rightful owner of the card. When the program wants to authenticate the card, it will generate a challenge, which is a bunch of random bytes. The challenge will be sent to the card, and the user will be prompted for his PIN code. The PIN code is also sent to the card, and will allow the card to access the private key linked to the authentication certificate. The private key will be used to sign the challenge. The signed challenge and the public certificate are sent back to the application. Note that the private key never leaves the card. The private key itself can never be read from the card, it can only be used by the card to sign bits of data when the PIN code unlocks it. The application, with the certificate, can check that the signature of the challenge is valid. If it is, it means that the PIN code was correct and that the user is the owner of the card. The same process can be repeated to sign documents, except that we will then use the signature, certificate and private key. To check the validity of the certificate, an application should also query the certificate authority. The certificate authority will be able to confirm a few different things. That the certificate belongs to the ID card, which by extension means that someone who can access the private key of the certificate must be the owner of the card. That the certificate is valid and has not expired that the certificate is not on the list of revoked certificates. In the next videos, we will see how to access the Belgian EID card within our Java application.